2008 Haas TM1P. We're going to do a little modification to it here. And uh, what we're going to do is to uh, install a little uh, three position rocker switch, which will allow me to uh, either select uh, air or coolant using the M08 or M09 command to turn it on and off with. And uh, we're going to install a little three position switch there and wire it into the, the back of our cabinet. And we'll show you what that's all about here in just a few few seconds. Thank you. Hello. This is my Haas uh, TM1P. And uh, we're installing a, a little switch on here. It's a three position switch. The one on the left where it says hold to run. Um, this is going to be for converting the uh, coolant to air. And you can select either whether you want to uh, blow air on the part or whether you want to spray coolant on it. And by flipping it up to the top position, it's a rocker switch, three position, push it up to the top, you'll get uh, air. And if you put it in the center, it turns it off completely. And if you push it down to the bottom position, you get uh, coolant. We're going to look at the other side of the, the connector now on the inside of the cabinet. This is the, the back side of uh, the TM1P uh, pendant control. As you can see, this has uh, the switch has the three positions on it. The top one, uh, which will go to the uh, air solenoid valve, is a green color. The center one is a, a white wire. And then the bottom one is a black. And uh, this goes through this cabinet. And it goes down the a little runway here and then it goes up this chase wire chase here and it goes up into the the top deal that goes across the, the cabinet this is the back of the wire chase that comes from the, the from the front pendant and then it goes into the control cabinet We're going to look inside the cabinet here in a second. Okay, now we're on the back of the cabinet where it's come in from the wire chase on the side. And uh, there's your wire right there. And it's going to come all the way across the top. And then it's going to go down this center chase here. And it goes over to the side. And then it's going to go down. And there's where it comes out. Right here. And this plug here is your coolant plug. Where your, it goes to your motor that actuates a coolant pump. And what we're going to do, we're going to break this red wire and we're going to hook one of the wires onto that red wire and uh, then go back to the switch and then we're also going to have another wire that's going to come out of this cable here that we don't have hooked up yet and that's going to go to our air solenoid valve and that way we can either uh, apply power to the air solenoid valve 115 volts or apply it to the coolant plug, which this is the inside of the receptacle. This is the outside of the control cabinet. This is the outer side of the, the coolant plug. And of course that goes over to the uh, uh, coolant pump motor. We've got a couple air solenoid uh, connections here that we'll discuss a little later and we'll tell you about the whole setup and what we're able to do with this. 